Hey everyone, I'm Coach Trevor with LWStrength.com and in today's LW Strength Short, we're gonna be reviewing five stretches and strengthening movements you can do if you have limited mobility, a disability, or are recovering from an injury. Now these are gonna be great because none of them require you to get onto the floor. Uh, many of them you could do in a seated position and only one I'm gonna show you today is gonna be in a standing position. Now our first three are a completely body weight and at the end I'm gonna show you two stretches and strengthening movements you can do with a PT band. Now to start off our first stretch is gonna be for the neck and our traps. And this is great for those of you guys who work at a desk all day or who tend to sit in the same spot throughout most of the day as those shoulders tend to arch up and the neck starts to jolt forward. And very easy to do this one in a seated position. What you're gonna do is by starting, you're gonna relax one arm, even maybe grasping the bottom of your chair just to enforce that that shoulder isn't gonna be getting pulled up. And then from that point, nice and slow, I'm gonna be tilting my neck to the side. And then when I'm comfortable, I'm gonna be pointing my head down slightly to the floor. Now right in this position, even though I haven't gone too far, I'm already feeling a nice stretch right throughout the traps here. And hence the name, this is our trapezius neck stretch. And if you want more out of this, very gently, we're being gentle with our bodies here. You're gonna add just a little bit of tension with your hand. And again, very important with this one, we're not pulling at the head, we're just adding a little bit more tension with that hand. Now our second one up, well it may look very simple, of course we're practicing consistency with our stretches, and that is our shoulder cross arm stretch. So again, relaxing those shoulders, our arm is coming in front of the body and bringing that hand up to try and brace it nice and close to the chest. Now, if that arm is super bent out, then you're gonna wanna do your best to slowly bring that arm nice and close to the body. The more straight your arm can get while being close to the chest, then the better and more of a stretch you're gonna feel with this one. But of course, it's no good to be aggressive with these stretches if you're not in the same position here. It's better for you to be consistent and gentle with the stretches and eventually things will start to loosen up. Now our third stretch, once again, is gonna be great for those of you who are in a seated position for your work or just in general on a day-to-day -day basis as those hip flexors start to tighten up very quickly. And this is our seated hamstring stretch. Now to do this one, we're just gonna move up in our seat slightly. One leg is gonna stay right where it is. The other is gonna straighten out as much as we can. And now we're bracing those hips, keeping my chest nice and high. I'm just gonna lean forward here slightly and almost right away, you should start to feel some tension, some of that stretching occurring right behind that leg. That's our hamstring there. But once again, I'm not pushing down. I don't wanna put unnecessary tension on my knee. I'm just going as far as I can while feeling that stretch. And then for our last two here, we're heading into our PT band movements and strengthening exercises. This first one plays off of the hip flexor tightness and that is our PT band hip abductions. Now in this video, I'm gonna be showing you the band set up to a wall anchor. However, it's not expected that you have this at home. So if you have a sofa leg or a chair leg that is heavy enough to support this movement, you can do that or you can simply wrap the PT band around your legs and do a very similar variation. All right, so for the PT band hip abduction, very simple setup with the band, just a double knot. They're awesome, you could take it out very easily, and it's that outside leg that's gonna be attached to the band. So this outside leg is right with the band, and my posture is high, everything is high. Once again, I'm not trying to come out as far as I can. I'm coming up to pulse, and right back down. So up and down. And for me, my hip flexors aren't too tight, but I tell you what, I'll come back to this one pretty frequently and it never fails to light those up there. 
So very great strengthening exercise to relieve those tight, tight muscles there. And last but not least, we have our band pull apart. So grabbing that band and we're gonna be wrapping around the wrists. Great thing with this is you could progress very easily by wrapping further and you could also dial it down by unwrapping. So my hands are gonna be out in front and I'm gonna be pulling to the side. And when I'm doing this, I'm actively trying to squeeze my shoulder blades together right in the back. So I'm out, arms are nice and straight and I pull, 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 hold and then come back down. Now, this is a great analogy with the band. Just like when we're pulling a band out slow, we don't want it to snap together very fast. So with this, when I come out nice and slow, don't allow your body to snap nice and quick. You wanna be able to control that movement out and back together. So team, I hope you guys learned a few new stretches today. As always, remember it takes time for your body to adapt to these new movements. And as always, we'll see you guys next time.